Ah, look at this. We have a nice logo here, and it shows up nicely on the PCB silk screen. Do you know how to create a logo for your own PCB? Well, it's not too difficult, but there's a trick to it. All right, so I'll show you how to do it. In order to get a logo on our PCB, make sure you have your pen and circuit board. I'm going to delete this and start from scratch. Before I get to the PCB, I want to have a logo available to me that I can place at any time. So what you do is go to File, New, and you create a new format symbol. Then we'll give it a name. We'll call it the Wi-Fi logo. And I'm going to save it in my same directory as my PCB. Click OK. So I'll go with the inch settings because I know the logo that I want to import is in inches. Click OK. You want to make sure you have a vectorized logo. Okay, you want a vector format logo that has transparency and is a bitmap file. All right. We are in the Wi Fi logo.dra format symbol editor. So let's go to File, Import, Logo. Make sure your logo is in BMP format and is a vector. Click Open. The class will be Board Geometry Silk Screen Top. Just keep it that way. The scaling factor. So you need to know the dimensions and the units of your logo. This logo is 7 inches wide. So I'm going to scale this down to make it 0 0.7 inches. So I have to scale it down by 10. Or by 1 tenth. To 1 tenth of the original size. So that's 0 0.1. Okay, now click Import. And let's move this out the way. Was it successfully imported? It seems so. Uh, here we go. Now it was imported all the way down here, not at the origin. That's fine. Now here's a problem though. When we try to move the logo, we don't necessarily get everything right. So what I would like to do is modify this a little bit. I will go to shape, compose shape, and then active class, set it to board geometry, then silk screen top. I want to fill in this logo by using the fill shape option here. There may be a better way to do it, but this works for me. So select everything. And then you fill it in. You don't have to do this, but it's uh, it's nice. If you would then right click and choose done, there you go. Okay, now you can place this logo in the origin. So we're going to move it. Okay, let's place it there. Right click, choose done. And you know, uh, let's see, what else could we do? We can also decompose shapes, like if you wanted to, you could do shape, decompose shapes, and then change the line thickness. Select everything and change the line thickness, and play with the settings. But anyway, let's save this logo. The symbol gets saved as a Wi-Fi underscore logo dot OSM file in my same PCB project folder. Why is that important? Because when I do that, and I go back to my project, so if we go to File, Recent Design, Some Board. When I save my logo dot format file, my format file, which is dot dra dot osm, I can go to Place directly, and then choose Drawing Symbols. Then Wi-Fi logo appears in that list. So I'll click hide and place it. Right click done. Now when I look at the 3D view and click OK, there it is in all its glory. <laughs> Very nice. Right, 
So that is how you import a logo from your BMP file. Some key things are you want to make a separate file specifically for your logo. So under some PCB, I have Wi-Fi logo .dra .log file .osm. These are the two important ones, .dra and .osm. Once you save the DRA file that you that we made, the OSM gets made automatically. Okay. Once that's done, you go to your board file and then go to place drawing symbols and it will automatically show up under your format symbols like that. Okay, I hope this helps and uh, thanks for watching.